if you are interested in simple ways of making your mobile battery last longer and checking which apps are actually draining your battery subscribe to my channel technology traveler and be with me in my channel technology traveler i regularly review out of millions of certified apps made by hard working app developers and bring latest technical updates and tips Whatever phone you have whether an iPhone or an Android there is a good chance that you run into a battery problem now and again Sometimes you're driving and you're wanting desperately to look for the location of a restaurant or you want to make a very quick call or you want to inform home and that is exactly when the juices of your battery dry out In a quick glance one can know which app is mostly being used by us and how much battery is it consuming and after knowing that one can also fix these issues because the biggest battery drain are the apps that we are always using apps like whatsapp or uh, the camera app youtube any video streaming there are apps which are installed in our phone which are native apps and then there are other apps which we install there are apps which work in the background as well i will go into the youtube app the whatsapp app and one or two other apps and see what we can do about it first let's look into the settings of our phone so we have to go into the battery in my phone it's under device care so i click on this and battery so it's showing that since last full charge last 7 days app power management so if i click on uh, last 7 days it's showing the consumption of battery by various apps on my phone like whatsapp camera light sensor google play store and all these so it's showing power mode optimized if i go into app power management i can limit the battery usage for apps that i don't use often so here put unused apps to sleep i have turned this on and adaptive battery we can also limit the battery usage for apps that we don't use often so if i keep this on the apps which we are not using often the battery usage will be limited in those now let's go into the youtube app so when i go into the youtube app did you know that if you click on your profile there it brings you to things like also time watched and settings and everything so if i go into time watch the, the youtube app shows us also how much time we are spending each day there are tools that can manage youtube time we can also remind to take a break so if i turn this on it will ask me that what is the frequency that if i exceed this much time like let's say 1 hour i should have i should get a reminder that will also control how much time we spend on the app which is a very good thing provided by youtube on its app this will also help us naturally to limit the battery usage if we go into any app like let's say even whatsapp is used maximum by all of us going back to settings going into the option of apps since whatsapp was being used a lot by me now if i look into this whatsapp app an option of storage and memory if i click on storage there is an option of cache so you can clear the cache that will also reduce the battery consumption by whatsapp um if there are apps which you are not using but they are consuming a lot of uh, battery anything above uh, 1% of battery consumption is worrisome so you can just uninstall them but if there are apps which you think you need to use then the best thing for that would be that you just optimize them either remove the cache or you see there is an option to optimize within that app so one can optimize that let me look at the settings app this is a native app and the battery consumption of settings app is 3% that's okay because settings has a lot to do this video player app battery none since device was last fully charged these 
apps which I'm not using so often uh, for optimization in my settings, they are not consuming battery. Another interesting thing is that we use Wi-Fi and we use mobile data. So wherever possible, if you can stay on Wi-Fi, the battery consumption is much lesser than if you are on mobile data because when you are on mobile data, the phone has to try to connect each time. So it, it consumes more and more battery. That so the three simple key features are going to the settings, checking battery usage of apps and then second thing optimize and third check how much time you are spending on each app. I have an Android phone and after carrying out these three steps, I actually went for two days without charging my phone. There is definitely a visible difference. For more such interesting tech updates, subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon to be notified for further tech updates. See you soon.